In the main video, part three of my circular rail project, I will be walking through the landscaping, showing how I've built up the low relief of the hills and constructed the man-made features. But for this shorter film, I'm going to focus on the stream and show you how I created a realistic water effect. First, a quick reminder of the initial landscaping. Having layered up the basic form of the hills out of foam boards and roughly hacked away at the edges with a sharp knife, I am gradually building up the surface with plaster bandage, cut and torn into small pieces, then dunked in water before smoothing on top of the foam board. It's important not to use too much water and really soak the foam board or the surface layer will start to peel away. But even then, you can gradually build up the surface, smoothing over those hacked edges until you have a gently undulating hillside. The weave of the bandage is still very evident, but that doesn't matter at this stage of the process and will eventually be smoothed in as the top layers get added. I'm going to be using static grass, but first I'm going to underpaint with acrylics, mixing a variegated surface using greens, ochres and browns, a lot of which is actually mixed on the hillside itself, allowing me to blend the colours to get a nice sandy edge to my river, blending to a greener area away from the banks. As with the underpainting, I'm using a variety of static grass colours. My applicator is a cheap and cheerful number from eBay, but does the job really well. Once I've covered the surface with a diluted PVA adhesive, I'm filling up the hopper of the applicator with a variety of colours, the mix of which I will adjust depending on the kind of foliage I want. The quantities are all very approximate, and I will be doing a relatively small area at a time. When screwing on the hopper lid, make sure the wire inside is touching the mesh and with the crocodile clip at the other end of the wire hovering over the surface, the charged fibres of static grass can be shaken out onto the glued surface. As I want the banks of my river to be a bit scrubbier, I'm tweaking the mix of static grass and applying it in a localised way, just to the river banks. At this point, I hadn't actually decided quite how to approach the river itself. So having removed the excess static grass, I thought I'd at least define the course of the river with black paint. The answer in the end came from Jarvis Countryside Scenics, whose shallow stream I spotted on Hatton's website and thought I'd give it a go. As soon as it was out of the bag, I realised I had much more than I was going to need, but I liked the sheen of the water and the river bed below. So first job was to trim down to that. I'm sure I'll find a use for the rest of it some other time. Having done my own static grass on the riverbanks, I can trim those bits off first, just leaving the stream, which I can trim approximately to the shape of my river. With a bit of trial and error, I can adjust that until I'm happy with the position of the sides of the stream. I'm leaving the end to overhang, and I can trim that later, once I've glued it to the baseboard, for which I'm using rocket card glue, pressing down firmly and smoothing into place, making sure it's completely flat especially under the bridge. With the short part of the stream in place, I can repeat the process for the longer stretch of the stream on the other side of the bridge. First, roughly cutting the sides, largely by eye. After all, I've got plenty more, should I mess it up. But I've got the basic shape right, and having tried it in position, I can further refine the precise edges before gluing into place. Making sure that it's completely smoothed down, especially up to the edges of the bridge. When the glue is completely dry, I can trim off those overhanging edges. I can now start softening the edges of the river itself and covering over those unsightly trim lines. So with a little bit of rocket card glue again, along the edge of the river, 
I can select suitable tufts of various flocks and bits of static grass from my tub of leftovers, gradually building up some scrubby foliage where the water of the stream laps its banks. I also want some scrubby bushes up the bank and particularly under the edge of the girders. So with a little bit of glue, I can pick out some appropriate shrubs and bushes and stick them into place. The other side of the stream receives the same treatment. Just gradually building up the foliage and brushing away any spare bits to get an idea of the finished stream. For the larger bushes and shrubs, I'm using woodland scenics, foliage clusters and bushes, which I am tearing up into a variety of sizes, of which I'll mostly be using the smaller bits for the riverbank. I've already started one bank of the river and I'm now applying glue right down the other, making sure I get right under the bridge again. Now I'm distributing some of the torn up bits of foliage cluster and adding some of those bits from my tub until I've got a good mix with some clumpy bits and others more sparsely covered. As with the other side of the bridge, I want my bushes going a little further up the bank. So with a little bit of extra glue, I can add some more of those smaller torn up pieces and a little bit of extra scatter from my tub. An advantage of doing this a little bit at a time is that I haven't got a whole lot of waste to shake off and that which I have can go back in my tub. But now, just to make sure everything's off, I want to hoover and brush away any of the waste. For the finishing touches, I'm going to be using glue and glaze, which comes from the same people that brought you rocket car glue. I'm not sure if I'm using it the way that it was actually intended, but I thought it would be a good use to add a bit of extra watery sheen to the stream bed. So I'm using it pretty much straight out of the bottle, trying to get an even coverage, but relying on the glue to spread out to a level surface. At the moment, it's obviously pretty white, but when it's dry, it'll be crystal clear, showing the stream bed below and sparkling nicely in the light.